Wow, I almost went the wrong way. Well, I'm just telling you. Or oh, you guys are just here for me? Yeah, we're here for you. Okay. Are you blocking me from exiting? I'm trying to figure out why I'm being called. Okay. Have a seat for me. What's the problem? What's the crime? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Driver's license. What is it? A so I can identify you. Make sure you don't have any warrants. Well, I mean, first we have to establish a crime. No, I don't. Sorry, but I have to enforce my Fourth Amendment rights. Okay. So well, I don't you, understand. You have the right to if you think, yourself to. If you think you're... Right. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story features Travis Hines, who on November 2nd of 2021 was in the town of Bethany, Missouri, looking for a long-term parking spot to stow his vehicle. Travis travels the country in his car, and during his adventures, he often stops at public libraries to utilize the publicly accessible Wi-Fi networks and other public accommodations. The parking in the area had two hour limits, but Travis intended on staying longer, so he went to the city hall to inquire where he could find long term parking. As he entered, he walked into an open door that appeared to lead to the secretary, and quickly realized he wasn't supposed to go beyond the door. He then retreated to approach the window. I don't know if you normally keep the door open or whatever. Oh, you got a cat? Okay, at city hall. Hi, can I help you? Well, yeah, I'm having difficulty with the parking. Um, what do you mean, mean well, with the parking? Where's the sections for the two hours? because uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, there's, I was going to choose some spots around the library. I want to go to the library, but there's this, there's these two hour parking spots and I don't know, it's just really difficult to, oh, you got the, the door's normally not open, huh? <laughs> um, but uh, I'm having difficulty with the parking situation. Do you, does anybody ever have problems with parking around here? No. Oh, okay. Well, I, I feel like you're very unique in that matter because I'm I'm really missing. I'm really confused. Yeah. I want okay. I want to go to the library and I'm. You can I'm, go to the library. Okay. Well, Is yeah. There a garage parking but over there. I might stay a little longer than two hours in my spot, and I, I just. There is a garage parking over there. Garage parking. It's covered parking. Covered parking. Have you like, been over by the library? Well, yeah, I drove um, on the left side of it, uh, going down the main the main street. I think I was going I was going this way, and I saw the library on my right side, and I was like looking, I, and I passed it, okay. and I was looking for like parking around it, uh, and it's it's really. I, I mean, I'm seeing I'm, it's really it's, people are parking on the on the sidewalks, uh, but I'm seeing there's two hour parking. I don't believe that they're parking on the sidewalk yeah they well I could take pictures you want to see pic is that you, really, you don't you don't it's not part of my forte that has nothing to do with me. oh who should I be who can you direct me to the person I need to talk to about the parking situation well if you have a problem with the yep. parking situation yeah because I don't know because I'm parked right in front of City Hall I can tell you is that a problem with the two-hour parking in front of City Hall I don't know where you keep coming up with this two-hour parking. There's a, there's, I saw two signs. Do you, need, do you need me to show you a picture of that? No. Because there's two, I've seen two signs that say two-hour parking from 7 a.m. to 5 or something. I, 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 I'm, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like exceedingly confused. What? So what I'm trying to explain to you is yeah. there is, if you, the square is one way around. It's one way. Yeah, and that too. That's, that's wow. Okay. I almost went the wrong way. During the interaction, it appears that the two don't fully understand each other, and the miscommunication is further complicated by the secretary's complete lack of professionalism and rude gestures. She goes on to explain that there is covered parking next to the library, and offers Travis the parking spaces across the street. Well, I'm just telling you. I understand what you're saying. It's one way. You, I'm explaining you, to you. You want to get your thoughts out? Information is. And on the west side of the square, or from the courthouse. Courthouse, right next to it. Hmm. Is it okay? If, uh, is there any limit to the parking right here? There is. On this, right in front of your, right in front of your building. I mean, it's open, but I mean, I don't. There is a covered parking spot if yeah but that's probably to the library that's probably for library only too that could you know no, sir, it's not it's public okay so it's not just library parking it's public parking correct okay i'll walk over there and look but what about in front here i mean if i keep my car 
Well, we normally keep the spaces in front for people who are coming in and paying their utility bill. Yeah. There across the street from us is a parking lot. There's a parking lot right across there? Okay. Yes, that's behind the TJ Wholesales and the Sheriff's Office. Okay, yeah, because uh, there's a, a Red Cross uh, trailer in there, is that? I don't know if there is or isn't. I oh, because there's a really, there's a, there's a really, uh, like, uh, like, uh, un, it looks like it's not kept up really well. Uh, it's like gravel, more like gravel, a space of gravel that, that got. Are you pranking me right now, or are, are you really serious? I don't I'm think I don't. I get the impression you you don't realize how bad the like the streets are and the parking is. Then you're 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 not you're not uh, really uh, under you're not really. Where are you from? Well, the north. I've been in several cities from the north, and I mean the parking is a lot better um, up north in those cities that I've been to. I guess I got called, um, <coughs> or you guys are just here for me. Yeah, we're here for you. Okay. Anyone that has been following Travis knows that this isn't a prank, and while his speech patterns and line of questioning is different, his demeanor radiates kindness and usually models the behavior we would all like to be treated with. In return, for asking very simple questions about the town's parking, the City Hall employees ask for the Harrison County Sheriff's Office to respond, and just over four minutes into the interaction, Sheriff Place and Deputy York arrive on scene. Travis had been recording the interaction with his GoPro, as he does with all in encounters with state officials, with good reason. Upon the sheriff's arrival, he begins to record with his phone as well. All right. Um, I'm not you want to direct if he's pranking me, if he's pulling my leg, or if there's something wrong. Um, okay. He's very concerned about the parking. And we're gonna get a phone. We've got a GoPro on our chest, so we're obviously hey, recording. Hey, why don't you have a seat right here? Have a seat? Yeah. What's we're gonna go talk to them in the back and find out what's going on. All right. Well, just that, all right, yeah, because you didn't, you didn't hear the conversation, no, so. No, no, we'll talk to you too, so. The sheriff goes to the back to ask the city hall employees why they called law enforcement, and Officer Harris arrives. All right, well, I'm the one that they called the cops on. I guess they buzz, buzzed the cops on. And I, was, I parked right out here, and I was asking about the parking situation. Apparently, we can uh, park across the street. <clears throat> Cause I mean, right you you know about the two hour signs, right? The two hour limits. Are you blocking me from exiting? I'm trying to figure out why I'm being called. Okay, well I, I guess you want to talk to it. Yeah, all right, fine. Have a seat for me. You want to talk to the? Have a seat for me. What's the problem? What's the crime? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Have a seat well, I'm, I've been sitting in my car for all morning. I just want to. Okay. So, I mean, I'll move over if you're afraid I'm gonna escape. I mean, am I being detained? You're not being detained. What's the, uh, yeah, these guys, these guys talk to him. What's the deal? We're just trying to figure out what your concern is. Okay, uh, so she gave her side and you got a full scope of what she said. No, I'm asking you what your concern is. Why are you no, are you satisfied with her story, I guess? It's, I guess, yeah. Okay, I well, yeah, I, so, so you understand what sh where she's coming from and I'm, my side is I'm, I'm interested in finding a good parking spot. Okay. There's two lots right here. If you're looking for on square. Yeah, and, and if we could walk out there, I mean, Hello. I'll show you where I'm parked. What? But where were you parked? Yeah, I'll show you. Just show me right here. You, oh, I, all right, am I being detained for a we're crime? We're trying to figure out what's well, going on. Well then, it'd probably be easier to like point from the you know closer area to this parking where I'm at and where I can park uh, outside. You guys prefer to talk inside? Yeah, it's cold outside. Cold outside. Oh, it's because, okay, well, that's reasonable, I guess. All right, well, I'll park there, and I mean, I want to go to the library to hang out, but, I, you know, I'm afraid I might stay too, longer than two hours, so, I mean, that's, that I just, you know, I'm parked here, and I figure maybe I could just... We're not sure what your concern is. is what this is a two-hour parking. I'll get a okay. ticket for two-hour parking. Okay, you know what? I'll get a ticket for two-hour parking. Okay, so I guess I didn't ask the question directly. Will I get a, par a ticket for parking longer than two hours? The answer is no. Okay, well, then that settles it. All right. Do you have your driver's license on your record? What? What's driver's license? What is it? A so I can identify you. Make sure you don't have any warrants. Well, I mean, first we have to establish a crime. No, I don't. And once again, we're faced with another officer who admits several times on camera that Travis was not being detained. Am I being detained? You're not being detained? What's that he was not suspected of a crime. Well, I mean, first we have to establish a crime. 
No, I don't. But still believed that because he works for the government, he has a greater claim to your privacy than you. And because of his status as a law enforcement officer, he has the right to seize you and your property and search it through a database for absolutely no reason. The officer's trespass on Travis's civil liberties are subsequently violated by Sheriff Place as well, who recently was put in his position only after the previously appointed Sheriff Eckerson ended his own life after being charged with misuse of official information by a public servant, trespassing, and domestic assault stemming from a lawsuit that alleged he had coerced a woman into explicit acts and trading illicit substances in exchange for the department's assistance with criminal charges against the woman and her family. Claiming that the agencies are grossly uneducated in very basic legal concepts is one thing, but the evidence of corruption within reeks of another. That's Making that's contact with you is good enough. I've been yeah, that's here. fine. And you can make here. contact. Hey, I've been called mm -hmm. here to make contact with you. Okay. Officer Harris. Well, who, who was the caller? Failing. They are. Well, you no, know. they were the buzzer. They if, buzzed, if right? You are failing to identify yourself to me and not give me your ID. Yeah. Right? We'll take it to You want a crime? Oh, you want to? You want to? You want to charge me with a crime? No, if you no, want to identify, identify yourself. We want to identify you. Well, I don't. Where's that's, your I got. I'm sorry, but I have to enforce my Fourth Amendment rights. So, okay. well, I don't you, understand. You have the right to. If you think yourself to if you think your if you think your prosecutor is gonna uh, back you up on that, they want to follow through on this charge. Okay. Um, we'll see how those arguments go. Yeah. They tend not to go too well in your favor. Okay. Just doing this. Well, what you, a charge of what? Do you not want to give me your driver's license? Well, do you want to? Give me your driver's license. I don't have to give you my driver's well, license. Well, what's I don't understand why you can't because give me. I'm making contact with you. I'm making contact with you. I'm going to run. And to these two, no warrants. Let me get let me get all your Harris. Yep, I'm Harris. I guess I'm gonna have to get familiar with who you guys are. Mm -hmm. May I get your name? Trevor Place, I'm the sheriff. Trevor Place, and you're the actual sheriff, not a not just a deputy. Nope. Okay. All right, P L A C E. Is that okay? And then your name? Brandon York. York. Okay, Y O U R K. Y O R K. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so making contact is not what the re R A S or whatever. It's just making contact. You can make contact with anybody. You don't need to just. Are you are you asking ID sir, for your own curiosity sir, no, we're, we're, or for the the betterment listen, of the? We were called over here. Because there was someone that was irate. Irate, okay. Hall. Okay, we don't know before we Yeah, came. yeah. I'm I, telling you. You were buzzed, too. We were buzzed. Oh, you were actually called? They didn't have a, a buzzer? Oh, There's I... like eight or ten people back here that could call. So, okay. the reason we're asking for your ID is because a crime has been committed. We're not oh. trying to charge you with one. Well, if you think you want to follow through on charging me with a crime, I mean, see with your prosecutor, so, your city prosecutor would want to, you know, go through. So, here's the question is, why don't you identify yourself? We'll all move on. Well, why don't we have a? Why don't we understand the established the, the crime? Mm -hmm. and we got a Fourth Amendment here. We got to we got to break. We got to get through here. All right. And I mean, there are steps to take with that. If if you want to if you want to fully charge me with a crime, then I guess you'll have to arrest me. You know, and and uh, follow through on that. If that's what you if you think that's what uh, your city prosecutor is going to uh, support you on. I mean, I, I, this is a contact thing. I was just asking about parking. Mm -hmm. This would be laughed out of court, Harris. Yeah. But if you want to follow through. Yeah. Are you failing to give me your ID? Are you failing to give me your ID? Are you failing to give me your ID? Okay, I'm willing to exchange Face the wall. IDs. Face the wall. All right. Put your phone down. All right. Put your phone down. Face the wall. You're taking this. Oh, what's that? Please hand me back. All right, you're taking this way beyond that it needs to go. No, actually, I'm not. You're not? Oh, okay. Well, your city prosecutor is probably going to be really happy with you. So the crime... <laughs> a simple contact has to turn into an arrest. Comply? Comply? You don't, where's your ID, Harris? You don't need my ID. Harris, you don't need my ID either then. Phone's in your pocket. Let's go. Harris, Harris. Can I get your first name? What's your John? Name? John Harris. Yep. What's your name? John Harris. Hold you my name. What's your name? All right. Well, that's it's Travis. John. Yeah. What do you want to play it? Play it. There's no crime. You're not playing by any crime. 
You can against the law not to identify yourself when the police officer asks you. Well, I asked for your ID. You're not willing to exchange. You're breaking the law. But if, if you want to make that your sole charge, is that okay? Is that your sole charge, John Harris? Not identifying, just general failure to comply, failure to identify. Okay. Peace disturbance. Oh, oh, you're going with the. Uh, oh yeah. Disorderly conduct. Okay, Correct. that's that's really going to carry over. Make your arguments really good in your little police report, please. Make it as as uh, good for uh, for the jury to believe as you can. And that is exactly what Officer Harris did in his probable cause affidavit. He wrote that Travis was irate and confrontational with employees. I almost went the wrong way. That he talked over them without allowing them to answer questions. I almost went the wrong way that he became more confrontational. I almost went the wrong way. That the employees were worried about their safety and well-being because they were unable to calm him down. I almost went the wrong way. And that upon arrival, Travis had become confrontational with the officer. I'm the one that they called the cops on it. Travis was charged with harassment and peace disturbance, and the prosecuting attorney based his entire case on the written statements made by the city hall employees without reviewing the video evidence, claiming that Travis raised his voice, became animated with overly exaggerated gestures, and escalated his behavior, causing alarm to the staff with loud noise. While there was certainly confusion in the conversation with the staff. The only one that was rude and escalated the situation was the staff and the law enforcers who responded. Travis was held for 24 hours and posted bond. The videos were posted on the 3rd after his release, and on the same day, he appeared before a judge. Then, on November 5th, Travis received a voicemail notifying him that his bond was ready to be returned to him. He simultaneously received messages on his YouTube video, telling him that the charges had been dropped. And when he went to receive his bond money, he was given his dismissal by the state. At the moment, it's unclear why the case was dropped. It could have been the phone calls, the Facebook posts. Perhaps the prosecutor finally reviewed the video evidence. No one knows but him. Both the Bethany Police Department and the Harrison County Sheriff's Office have since shut down their Facebook pages and non-emergency lines to shield their eyes and ears of the citizens that wish to redress their grievances. The remainder of the video is Travis's experience with being booked into jail. All of the videos featured can be viewed in full on his channel, where he has many other interactions, and a few updates about this case as well. Be sure to use the links below to head over to his channel and let him know I sent you. Before we go in here, do you have any weapons or drugs on you? Drugs? I don't, I don't believe it. I shouldn't have anything. Okay, I'm gonna check it, because if you have anything, once we go through those gates, it's an automatic felony. Automatic, automatic what? Fel felony. Penalty, you say? Felony. Felony? Yeah, oh, you're gonna search me, all right. I just told you I was. Yeah, because we got a big crime that we're prosecuting I'm here. Going into jail, so. Yeah. Yeah, you're pro you're you're charging me with a real serious crime. <clears throat> you must not have ever worked in a big city. No. Why is that? You, why is that? You ask. No. Yep. Yeah. Why is that? Because you obviously are overly sensitive about talk. No, I'm not. Yeah, you don't I'm not talking with you. Try to spend a couple of weeks in Las Vegas, buddy, and you'll see you'll see I have a complete change in attitude. You're just a small town cop who has no barely any experience. <laughs> How long have you been working here, Harris? John Harris? Just under two years, man. Two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're pretty new to this. Sure. Pretty new indeed. And you're gonna make you get you think you, I, I look forward to reading your reports. Okay. How how everybody got offended and hurt. Well, we try to figure out what's going on. You don't want to comply. Yeah. So yeah. when All you right. don't want to comply, I, I told you what I was looking for: parking space. Stephen, got a couple of cameras on him. His phone is recording. Okay. And he has a knife. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure who this gentleman is yet. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah, I have no problem if you wanted to exchange IDs. You, you're demanding ID, straight up, and that's not re that's not required in identification. We can sh we can exchange names. The green chair. Oh, I see. Okay. 
Oh yeah, you got an ID there, huh? Yeah. Just by illegally Fourth Amendment checking me, yeah. violating my Fourth Not Amendment. Illegally. Yeah, illegal. This is all illegal. This is all suable, and I'd, I'd recommend you talk to your prosecutor about this. It's all suable activity. Hey, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Ivy has Western Union. Okay. Heinz, Henry, Edward, Ida, Nora, Zebra, Edwards. Travis. Oh, you got some inmates in there, huh? How many inmates are here today? I, I, I could count them, I'm sure. Right, they're all just these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Advise me a rest time, please. Thank you. Yep, that's fine. Okay. I got some real spelling mistakes in your booking steps. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hour hold. Investigative hold. Investigative hold. Are you removing my cuffs? I am, sir. All right. I advise you not to do anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Keep the hands out. Why has it got a blue stripe on it? I've never seen that before. Yeah, back to blue. Being done blue, yellow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got it. It's so a back. Yeah. I just never seen that. Yeah. They got red ones with those training. 24 hour hold to find out who I am. No, I know who you are now. Oh, that's great. Charges. Yeah, because of the uh, charges. Okay. Yeah. So, what you're going to do is take off your coat, set it on this chair, empty out your pocket, set it on that desk, take all your cameras off. Everything goes on that desk. Yep. Well, how, how far do I strip? Just, just take the cameras off, beanie. What's the bond? Am I getting, what's the bond or whatever? Yeah, I have a bond I have. 24 hours. You're here for at least 24 hours. Does it sit for 24 hours? Yep. What about my car? What about, I, this is uh, strange. Uh, I just sit for 24 hours, so what time is it now? It's, uh, you got to write it's 9.23. 9.23, I just sit here till, till 9.23 tomorrow and, yep. and then get released? If there's no charges brought down, yeah. Always working on charges. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to take your pink pack off, put it up there. Got anything in your pockets? Any of these pockets? No? No? All right, I'm going to step over here in front of this hot truck so I can get your picture.
Oh, yeah, I got my money. How much do I have? I forget. I don't know. I just took it out. I got a camera. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got it. So have you seen 24-hour 20, holds? It's not like a 48. It could turn into a 48. And a, no. And, oh, that's just kind of... It's 24 hours. They don't have charges in 24 hours. They'll kick you out. All right. Jeez, that's crazy. There's no such thing as a bond for this? Nope. You guys just have a standard 24 hours, huh? Yep, 24 hour investigation. Wow, that, that's, uh, that seems a little inconvenient for general investigation. It seems almost like punishment. It's like a kind of 24 hour punishment investigation. Oh, is that still going? I should probably turn it off. Yeah, go ahead and shut it off, though. Yeah. Is your GoPro going? Uh, probably. Yeah. Uh, the battery isn't the best. Go ahead and shut it off for you. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.